this video, I'm going to show you how to absolutely destroy a 10 yard curl flat or just a standard zone dropped curl flat or just a regular default curl flat in Madden 22. I think the curl flat zone is one of the best zones in the game. And so today we're going to show you how to absolutely destroy it. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day to help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at the game, I'd encourage you to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're looking to get better at the game, I've got a ton of offensive and defensive eBooks. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the trips tied in formation out of the Detroit Lions playbook. If you wanna get my full trips tied in offensive eBook, you can actually get all of my Madden 22 eBooks for the price of $10, um, all, in one all in one inclusive, all inclusive, all-in-one deal. Uh, we got over 25 offensive and defensive guides this year. And if you wanna check that out, that'll be linked in the description by becoming a patreon member today you can unlock all of the Madden ebooks um, that we've released so far this year and any additional ones that we will release in the future and of course all the updates to that as well all right guys so I wanted to show you kind of a trick here that you can use um, to kind of mess with the default and the 10 yard zone drop curl flats like I said in the intro I think that the curl flat is the best zone for underneath type of routes in the game because you can stop curl routes and you can stop flat routes essentially with one zone so and you can also stop slant routes and i'll show you what i'm talking about here so we're just going to come out into play pa counter go out of detroit um, trips you can do this out of any play in the formation if you don't have hot route master you might want to use the play drive post uh, or i'm going to show you another concept in this video as well so you're going to get a kind of a two for uh, two for one deal uh, today okay so first things first, I want to show you the default curl flat. So that's the cover three sky. We're going to put this curl flat out here. What you're going to notice is when I put my slant post concept on the field, this curl flat defender is going to do a really good job at stopping it. As you can see right there, he's able to intercept the ball um, just at a default, you know, without any adjustments whatsoever. So what I'm going to recommend to you today, though, is something that uh, I like to use to pull zones. This is something that was really good at pulling zones last year. It's also something that's really good at pulling zones this year, and that is hitch routes or smoke screens. And the way we're going to illustrate this is we're going to first put the running back on a ghost route. And this is a tight window, but it's actually something that you can hit. But you got to pay a little bit of attention here to when I throw this. Essentially, this ghost route to the running back is going to uh, kind of cut. See how that curl flat sits there and I can throw it right on the sideline for a possession catch really important that you possession catch so that he can get his feet down another thing I want to quickly point out is I think it is also really important if you're going to run this concept that you go ahead and make sure that you throw the ball once he gets outside leverage outside leverage that way if he intercepts the ball or he's able to make a play on the ball he's gonna jump himself outside as you just saw right there so it's kind of a risk-free uh, concept and what you'll see here is I can throw this over and over and over to the sideline. You just gotta work on the timing a little bit. If they have flat zone kite knockout, they might be able to make a play on the ball, but you'll see here again, I'll show you one more time with the ghost route and then we'll talk about another route that you can use um, in case you don't have a hot route master quarterback. So you see right here, just pass late outside. You see how he's gonna do that little catch animation right there and he's gonna be able to catch the ball. Now, what if I don't have hot route master or what if I wanna keep my running back in to, um, you know, play pass protection two things we can do the first one is we can actually put uh, Scotty Miller on a hitch and we're gonna motion him to the left so he's gonna get those slot hot routes and then you'll see that he's gonna be right about the same spot um, that my running back was at this hitch is gonna kind of work very similarly to the ghost route you'll see he's gonna sit on it sit on it sit on it and as you can see he's gonna hold the zone very very well uh, in that in that ability right there Another thing that you can do with this is you can actually do a little bit of a motion snap. So we're going to motion Scotty Miller to the right, and as soon as we motion him to the right, we're going to put him on a smoke screen. And then what you're gonna see is we're gonna snap the ball right when he gets to the numbers, right about there. He's gonna sit right there. You'll see the curl flat will kind of dip down. And as you can see, I can throw that slant every single time. What's really important about this is this is a very great way to manipulate uh, underneath zones so that you always have a concept that you can check down we know in trips tight end that basically they have to use as a tight end post it's one of the most effective routes in the game this year and so because of that we can use this concept to make this one of the most difficult plays to stop in Madden 22. now i want to put some zone drops on the field just kind of a standard cocktail but the big thing and the big key is a 10 yard curl flat zone the 10 yard curl flat zone 
is good for a lot of reasons. I'm gonna show you one of them. The first one is that if I run this curl concept on the left, you're gonna see that that 10 yard curl flap will absolutely bag it, as you can see. And so it's one of the best zones in the game to stop, again, these underneath concepts. Um, same thing with the slant. I'll show you again. Without the ghost route, you'll see um, this is just a standard slant post concept, and you'll see that the 10 yard curl flat will basically take this away every single time. So how can we combat that? Well, kind of exactly the same as I just showed you, but I want to show you against zone drops as well. Remember, if you want to get the entire offensive ebook, you can get the full ebook by joining the Patreon membership. I'll put a link in the description below. It's only ten dollars to sign up for that, and again, it gets you access to all of our ebooks, not just the Trips Tight End Guide, but you also get access to all of them. Okay. So, anyways, back to the cover three here. You're going to see that this curl flat. See how he's going to sit inside, and again, I can throw it right at the edge of that that curl flat zone. My, again, Madden, and when we talk about routes, it's very important to understand leverage. If my receiver has inside positioning, I can't throw the ball outside. If my receiver has outside positioning, then I can't throw the ball inside. And so I've got to be really, you know, kind of paying attention here because I want my receiver to get this outside leverage so that I can throw this ball outside, as you can see. And then basically, best case scenario, they're going to get a swat out of bounds if you make a mistake on your timing. And um, what you'll see here, I can throw this kind of inside, but that's a really tight, 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 tight window. Um, and so another trick, let me show you the ghost route one more time, and then I'll show you um, the smoke screen. So anyway, here's your ghost route. See how he's going to sit inside. As soon as I get outside leverage, I'm going to throw outside pass lead. And again, worst case scenario, he's going to get that. And you're noticing that the ghost route, honestly, is not as consistent as the hitch or the smoke screen. Let me show it to you one more time just for fun. And again, you'll see here, sucks inside. Wait, 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 wait. And then throw just before he gets to the sideline. And you'll see that it's going to be very difficult for them to make a play on the ball. Okay, so now I want to show you the next piece of this tip, which is the hitch route. Now, remember, I like to advise people, if you want to run the hitch route, motion this, especially if you're on the wide side of the field, motion this receiver to the left side of the screen. And you're going to see he's going to still go to the right, but now what you see is he's going to go right onto the numbers instead of going out wide. And to snap the ball, you're going to see here that that purple, even though it's zone dropped at 10 yards, it won't play the slant. It's going to get sucked down every single time. And then the last piece of this tip is if you want to do a motion snap and you want to use a smoke, you can certainly do that as well. Here's your motion snap smoke. And as you can see here, this is going to be an absolute laser. I want to thank you for watching this video. Just want a quick reminder at the end, if you enjoyed the content, hit the sub button. Also, if you want to get my full trip side in offensive ebook, or if you just want to take your Madden game to the next level, I would really encourage you to join our Patreon. For just $10, you'll get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. And in addition to that, we do weekly update videos, tip videos all throughout, trying to help you guys get better at the game. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up, the link is 